Hello dear students, today we are going to start a first topic, analyze data using scenario and goal seek, second unit electronic spreadsheet. In this video, you will learn consolidate data and how to find subtotal in open office calls. Let's start. First topic using consolidating data. Data consolidate provide graphical interface for copying data from one range of sales to another. Then running one of the dozen functions like sum, min, max, average, etc. on the data. During consolidation, the content of cells from several sheets can be combined in one place. For applying consolidating data, follow these steps. Let's do the practical and see how to apply consolidating data. Firstly, open a document that contains a data. Here, total four sheets. Three sheets contain a data 2018, 19, 20, and one more sheet for a totaling. First sheet contains a 10 employees sales data record year 2018. Second sheet contains 10 employees sales data record year 2019 same third sheet contains 10 employees data record for year 2020 so now we want to calculate total sales by the each employee in, in each month means jan fab march and april year 2018 to 20. here if you have a lots of time then you can use a copy and paste method otherwise you can use a data consolidate so firstly create a range select data and then click a name box and then type a range name sales 2018 and then click a second sheet select a data and then click a name box and then type a range name sales 2019 And then click a third sheet, select data and then click name box and type a range name sales 2020. And then click a fourth sheet total, specify where you want to display the result and then click a data menu and then consolidate select a function here the sum function is the default setting and then select a data range sales 2018 then click add button and then sales 2019 then add button and then select sales 2020 and then click add button the selected range now appear on the consolidating range list and then click more and then select a checkbox row label and column labels and then click ok. So you can see here all sales total are displayed here for each employee and each month year 2018 to 20. Here Employ first Jan month sales record total sale 35,000 means in year 2018 employ 1 Jan month sales 10,000 2019 15,000 means total 25,000 and in 2020 10,000 means total 35,000 so result is correct 35,000 and same fab month 40,000 March 34,500 and April 44,500 this is a consolidating data second one topic creating subtotals subtotals totals data arranged in an array that is a group of cells with labels for columns and rows Using the subtotal dialog box, you can select array and then select a statistical function to apply to them. 
For efficiency, you can select up to three groups of array to which to apply a function. When you click OK, Cal's adds subtotals and a grand total to the selected array. Subtotal is a function listed under the mathematical category when you use a function wizard insert function because of its useful function has a graphical interface accessible from a data subtotal. For creating a subtotal, follow these steps. Let's do the practical and learn how to create a subtotal. And show that the column have labels means a particular name. Here two columns, first store and second sales. Here three store, store one, two, three. Each store contains a sales record. Select the range of cells that you want to calculate subtotal and then click a data menu and then subtotal here three group first second and third and then select a group by store in the calculate subtotal for box select the column containing the values that you want to subtotal and then select a uh, sum function and then click a uh, ok so here subtotal according to the store store 1 total sales store 2 total sales and store 3 total sales and final a uh, grand total and if you want to only a uh, store one sum store two sum and store three sum then you can click a minus button and you can see here store one sum store two sum store three and a grand total and click a again plus button display a complete list of a subtotal so dear friends, in this video you learn consolidate data and how to find subtotal. In the next video lecture we will discuss about what if and what if tools. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye bye.